Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, today I want to show you something that a lot of people have requested in the comments and is how you can do a drop down that takes them to an external link. Uh, and this is actually very simple to do. It's not going to be difficult. You do need to do a little bit of code, but as always, I will show the whole code out. I'm going to show you how to add it. And then you can pretty much duplicate the same thing in your website. If you still have comments or questions, just feel free to ask on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, that helps me a lot. So I really appreciate you subscribe. And again, thank you so much for the support that you guys are providing me. Please, if you have suggestions or new requests on videos, let me know. I'm very happy to help you. And hopefully, again, this can help you. Uh, you know, complete that project that you've been uh, dealing with for a while. So let's get started. Okay, so in this example, uh, you can see I have three uh, countries, right? Uh, actually four, Canada and Mexico. And you can use any type of link. So anytime somebody clicks to Australia, United States, Canada and Mexico, it should take them to that specific page. Now, I didn't took the time to go and find Australia's page or website or United States. So I just grabbed whatever random uh, pages that I have open on my website. Uh, sorry, on my tab. Uh, so let's start with Australia. So as you can see, it takes them here, uh, this page. Then we're going to go to the next one. And if you saw that, it's because sometimes when I'm recording and I'm also doing other stuff, sometimes my internet is not loading, but that's not an issue with the code or anything. Uh, so let's go to United States. Right? And uh, it takes them to this uh, website right here. It's called FreePick. And this is also a good resource for you uh, if you're looking for graphics. They have a lot of cool stuff. You do pay for it, but it's worth it because you can find a lot of awesome stuff. Uh, so you can use it for your website. I'm going to go back and then we're going to go to Canada and Mexico. As you can see, I put this YouTube link. So now let's see how it was done. Now we're back at the editor and I'm going to show you how the code works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new page and this is something we're going to name just uh, drop down countries and then right here we're going to add it now one of the things that's going to happen is if you don't have the developer mode turned on i will recommend that you do that because if it's Oh, if it's off, then you're not going to be able to see this um, option right here, which is called input. So keep that in mind. So right now mine is on, so I'm going to turn it off. So yours is going to look something like this. When you have never turned on developer mode, again, this is not going to show. Once you turn it on once uh, and you turn it back off again, this will stay. It won't go away. But at least uh, you know that. And I always like to mention that for people that are new and it's, uh, you know, the first time trying to do certain things because uh, a lot of the times uh, people don't explain those little things. So, again, if you're new, make sure you go to developer mode, turn on this option. And once you see these tools, usually it will look something like this. Just minimize this for now. And then you can minimize that and just leave it on if you like. But now if I turn it off, that option will still be there. Input. Okay, so now we're going to add our drop down. It's going to go under input. And we're going to scroll down to right here. So you have your drop down. Uh, one of the things is you can always design, change what it looks like. If you don't like the text, things like that, you can change that. And after you design the you know font size whatever you need the color you're going to go where it says manage choices and you're going to delete everything compared to filters this time we're going to use a small code 
it's very easy, so it's not nothing very difficult. But uh, when you're using filters, these are uh, important to do. But in this case, you don't need any options here. If you have any option here, this won't work. So just keep that in mind for this specific way that I'm going to show you how to add external links to a dropdown. So we're going to close this. Then we're going to go to settings. And here you can change the, um, the field title that's inside. So we can just put something like select country. And for some reason, you don't like that thing here. You can always leave a blank and type a title right here. And it's going to show at the top. So you have those two options. You can either have it like this, or you can put it here. Now, if you leave this blank, it gives you this little warning, but don't worry, that won't affect on anything. So you can use either of those two. So let's say if we leave it like that, or you leave it like this, you can use, use sorry, you can use uh, either of those two. So we're gonna stick with that one. It's gonna close this for now. And when you put the title inside the box, it saves you space. So that's why uh, a lot of people like to put it in this part right here, rather than put it above the box. So once you have that, now we're going to open this little button right here, and you're going to see something like this. So we're going to delete everything here. And the code that we're going to use, OK, so we're going to paste the code right there. So as you can see, uh, the code is already giving me an error. It's on red right here. And if you hover your mouse over, it tells you that it doesn't exist. That's because this drop down right here, the name is country one. Okay. So also, if you have multiple drop downs, make sure that you get the right ID name, because if not, this is not going to work. So what we need to do is if your uh, drop down is already drop down one, then you don't have to worry about it. But if you want it to be named something different, you just got to copy the ID by selecting this option. We're going to copy this. And then we're going to replace it right here. Now the error went away. But the second thing you need to do, because if not, this is not going to work, is we need to add what we call a handle. So how do you do that is after this, just go on the number 10 or just doesn't matter what number, but just go after this code. And then one more time, you got to select your drop down and then you got to click where it says on change. And then on change, we're going to click add event. So once you do that, this new thing is going to show right here. And you can delete all this thing. You don't need this. It, uh, it's helpful. Uh, it helps you know what is in the code and all stuff. But uh, for now, you, you don't need it. And then what you want to do is there's this other code that we need to add that's going to go under here. So I'm going to delete also this part right here. We're going to paste it right there. So as you can see, this, this is also drop down one, but this one is country one, the one that we're trying to use. So we got to change the name to country one. You can also do copy paste. So if this is the drop down, you just select this option. You can copy paste and put it right here. Now, let me explain you what the code is going to do. So on the function on ready, Country one, which is the drop down. Uh, the options is the label that it has right now is United States. So to preview, so you can see what it is. So this is the labels. So you have three labels right here. Okay. So what it's saying is the labels, which are these ones, have the value, which is the URLs. Okay. So I have three different labels with three different values. So what we want is whenever we, we uh, select this dropdown, we want it to show us the values 
And once we click it, we want them to take us to these specific URLs. And that's why we add this handle right here. So again, if you don't understand this part, no worries, just copy paste the code and I'll tell you how you can replace the links. But again, if you wanna understand a little bit more about how it works, then what you're telling the code that the code is doing is says export function. So that means whenever we change one of the dropdowns or one of the values on country one, right? Which is that's the name of our dropdown. Then we want them to go to a Wix location, go to the URL, which is some of these URLs they have here. Now, if you want to add more, you can just add after this uh, label right here. So you can just add a comma and then you can click enter and then you can add everything again. So you can open that label and then I'm going to go after this one. Hey, oh, sorry, one, and then those two, space, actually it's the wall there, and then we're going to open the other one, and then here we can name it um, secret link, right, and then after that, just going to go over this, we're going to do a comma, Space. and then we're going to add the value and then after this going to close that one and then here we're going to add the link in between so you always have to add the HTTP and then um, if it has an S you can add it uh, if it doesn't have an S you don't have to add it, it's totally up to you. So how do you get this? Just open a page. So let me show you one. So let me open one page really quick. Let's say we're gonna open, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, let's open uh, this page right here. So, you have your link right here, right? So whenever you click on this link, you notice this one has, because of the security uh, SSL, it has the S. When there's no security, usually it will be like HTTPS. Oh, sorry. Um, let me make this a little smaller because I know you guys can see it. So let's go back here. Okay. As you can see here, whenever you click on your browser, right, you have the HTTP, um, and then you have the forward slash forward slash www and then the website.com you don't need the last uh, forward slash so you can just copy the way it is if you don't want to be writing down this you can just copy and then you're gonna go here and make sure you just add it right there so once it's added you can see it's right there now we can test it Right. But before we do that, so we're going to preview. And then now it is there. So when we click on secret link, it should take us. But now the reason why it's not taking us is because we're missing something here, which is publish. So whenever you do this, it's not going to work if you do it uh, on the preview mode. So you got to make sure you publish. So let me go here and I get the URL for this page. And then we're going to go here. And once we go here, if you go to a secret link, that's the one that we just added. You click on it and it takes you there. So as you can see, when we test it on preview mode, it won't work. So you have to do it on the live version in order for it to work. So one more time, let's go over the code. Here, you if you don't like, if you don't wanna use these links, all you have to do is just delete this whole section. Or if you already have all those, um, you know, labels that you need to add, 
and uh, links, then all you have to replace is this part right here. This is the labels. So the label, you can change it for anything. You can make it say something like your, your website, uh, check this link, whatever uh, you want it to say, this is the only things that you need to replace. Okay. And then the other things that you need to replace is, are these links inside the little, um, and I apologize for this because there's some words that I don't know how to say them in English yet. <laughs> Uh, but these little symbols are on the top. I don't even know what they're called. So, but you understand what I'm saying. So you you remove all those links and update them for the ones that you need to update them for. And again, this code is very easy to use because you don't have to do anything with databases. Uh, everything is already here and the labels will be updated. So as you can see, there's nothing here. It's empty. And the only thing that you need to make sure uh, to add your title. And lastly, before I forget, just keep in mind that if it's not working, it's for two main reasons. One is the dropdown ID has them being updated right here. And then when you add the handle, if you don't add the handle and you don't update this part of the code, so those are the main reasons why this won't work. But again, uh, if you follow this video from the beginning, you'll see it was very easy to uh, to be created. I'm gonna be sharing the code uh, on a page so that way you can see it, but it should look like this. So right now you can see what it looks like. And let me make this a little bigger. In case you don't wanna go to my page and download it, you can just take it from here. So that's it. Um, you can pause this section and copy the code. Or again, just go to the link in the description. I will have it there. You can go download it, copy and paste, and you're good to go. So if you have a question, you need help with anything, just please let me know. I'll be very happy to do so. And then just please, um, you know, uh, let me know if you, you need anything. But uh, also I want to let you know that I'm going to be keeping... Um, a page very soon where you can buy themes uh, so you don't have to be, you know, worry about doing all this work. Everything is going to be already done and you can just buy templates from uh, the store that I'm uploading very soon. All right. Thank you for the support and see you next time.